We've all been there. You're getting a start in this cruel world of rust, making some decent progress, and then... It all gets taken out from right beneath your feet by a filthy roof camper. They don't even need your loot, but they simply get the satisfaction of watching you squirm. This is the story of the little guys trying to get one back on the roof campers, and I can assure you, you don't want to miss it. What's going on everyone? How are we doing today? Today I'm jumping into a monthly, monthly server. You can see that obviously it's been up for a little while already. People are pretty well established. But that's kind of what I'm looking for. Trying to cause some trouble for some of these groups. I may or may not be joined a bit later by someone else, but we'll, we'll see how we go. But for the time being, we're just going to head to a decent build location, get a little base down, start farming some scrap, and uh, we'll go from there. Man, I hardly ever play on monthlies, so it's kind of nice having a few shops around that we might be able to get some decent gear from for cheap. Customs for 150 sulfur is really cheap. Damn, that's a pretty good shop over there near Power Plant. I mean, this spot here could be pretty good. Satellite, Harbor for green, Sats for blue, Treatment for red, and then we got Large. I feel like, I feel like that's the spot, man. Okay, we'll try and get some bags down up there anyway. Collect some cloth along the way. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> Free bow. I would take that. Wonder if I can yoink these furnaces too. Take everything I can get. Right, let's try and get to uh, try and get to outposts. Do some recycling. Oh, nice! It's only morning too, so we got the whole whole rust day to get a start. I was playing this wipe on a monthly server and would be joined shortly by my bro Emilio. After spawning in this area up north near outpost, really caught my eye. With easy access to green, blue, and red card monuments and a safe place to recycle at outpost, I couldn't pass it up. Being a monthly server, I knew I'd be able to get my hands on a weapon fairly quickly through some of the nearby shops, so I prioritized getting a base down to give me something to operate out of. Ooh, pickaxe? Nice. Let's grab some boxes on the way. Ooh, Rebby? Oh, uh, now I don't want to die. Get to outpost. I think we're safe. Nice. I don't really have much to recycle, to be honest. Okay, I think I'm going to try and get a little base down. And then I'll come back and get my body after that. I think there's a spot like over this side of treatment where you can build really close. I'm not sure if it's like specific to the map, but we might be able to build like right here. Come on, man. Although that's a decent amount of space. Yeah, I'm building here. <laughs>
Hello. You can see the base where I am right now. <laughs> There's so many massive bases near outposts. Chopping trees? Yeah, that's me. Come on in. Oh no, you've got the same hair as me. Rip. <laughs> oh, you got the orange hair. <laughs> yeah, so do you. Oh, your character is fucking so ugly. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't see it. I'm gonna send you a picture. Oh, yeah. I look like um, I look like Brenda with orange hair. But yeah, this place should be pretty good for progressing because it's got the um, water treatment, like the just the crank room and that is um, pretty good. Emilio was very new to Rust on console, so he ran through some controller settings, and while he was playing around with that, I headed out to start gathering some components. With water treatment right at our doorstep, using the crank room for crate spawns would be a great option, as it didn't require any radiation protection. We also lived right next to some pylons and the ocean, so it was turning out to be an excellent choice of base location. Maybe we just try and um, get enough to like tech tree down to the ladder or we'll find a ladder and then we can start checking out some bases. Ooh, I see an exposed tier 2. Oh, hell yeah. I got a free tier 2. Three. Just out near Lighthouse. Yes. Excellent. Uh, and I just found a shoddy and 28 buckshot in the water. Randomly. The grubbing begin. Oh, dude, just killed a grub that was loaded. I had blue card and green card. <laughs> oh man, the guy was actually loaded like 200 scrap and a bunch of comps and he was farming with a rock <laughs> free tier 2 is pretty sweet that you on the hill yeah we got enough scrap to tech tree ladder i think we probably do god fuck this <laughs> <laughs> it's a shit jump Nah, this is terrible. This is we used some of the scrap that we'd gathered to tech tree down to ladder. This would allow us to start investigating some of the larger compound bases in our area. And to be honest, it wouldn't take us long to start ruffling some feathers of some of the bigger groups. Are you near the rock base or? I'm on the bridge on the way towards the armored or the sheet metal base. Almost killed some dude running away from outpost. <laughs> oh, there's, there's a dude to your left, see the base in the water with the, the yeah, that's, that's, the one, that's the one I was just shooting. Holy, that base is huge. Um, all right, uh, which base are we going to? This one, over here. Mechanic one. <laughs> all right, how are we looking turret wise? Is this one layer of high stones? Two, two layers. I've got another four rope on me as well, if they've got a open. Uh, come to the front gate, we got we got building bridge. Priv. <laughs> building priv, like, right up, pretty much right up to the high external gate. Yeah, 
Yeah, the, high, the jump on this is way high. You can get onto a door off the fireplace. <laughs> you do that piece. No. Nah. Oh no, they've got large furnaces on right now. Get in there. <laughs> yeah, come around here. I don't die off this. Oh yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Dude. <laughs> come in this way. <laughs> come in. <laughs> actually see any turrets. <laughs> I might need you in here to get over though, I reckon. Oh my god, how do you jump in this game? <laughs> oh, oh no. So I reckon if we, I think we can both get in. If if you can make that jump, it's a bit shit, but... Go run around, have a look. I know, this is pretty good here. But there is a turret. Oh, the turret's... The turret's off. I think all the turrets are off. <laughs> yeah, this is good, this is good. Back, back here for a set? Yeah, yeah. Crouch, crouch. Oh, oh. No. oh he's on me. Can't even do it. Sorry, this is really fun. Like, damn it, shut the door. Bubs two six forty. Oh, he picked me up. I'm his, I'm his slave. I'm in. Oh my god. Two K sulfur. <laughs> I'll tell you when he leaves. He's, he's just looking at me. <laughs> he's I don't just know. letting me go. He's just shooting down the jumper. <laughs> I might be able to get out. <laughs> he's coming back in. He's coming back in. He's looking for me. I'm on the inside, like hiding on a furnace. Oh no, he might have seen me. Uh, basically, on the side facing the ocean, there's a high extent of gate that drops it out. No, he's gonna kill me! <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I had all the furnace loot. His name was Bubs. Old mate Bubs had evicted us from his compound, so we decided to move on, and it wouldn't take long to stumble across another team that we thought we might be able to take advantage of. Wait, what? You're running fast. Yeah, I know, that's my mate. Nah, that's a glitch. <laughs> that fast, I <laughs> That's stupid. You checked, um... Oh! Me! I'm dead. I think they're up the hill there. Where you... If he picks me up, I'm gonna smack him in the face with my paddle. <laughs> Given where these guys had killed me on the map, we were almost certain they were heading out to try and take large oil rig, and since Emilio had an idea of which base they might belong to, it'd be the perfect opportunity to camp their base and make a play. Earlier on, I'd seen a nearby shop selling Thompsons for 300 sulfur, so I went to buy some and then would meet up with Emilio to set the trap. This is when something unexpected happened. I'm gonna make a play, I can feel it. Where are you going there now? I'm just gonna go buy these tummies, and then I'll um, I can bring them over if you want to camp them out. Yo, these tummies are all like almost broken. Oh my god. Uh, I just got, just got an L9. <laughs> From who? <laughs> a naked ran over the hill, like, with a fucking L9, and I killed him with the Tommy. Has it got a scope? Oh, it's got a, it's got like a four times on it or something. Oh man, I'm coming home. Oh man, now we can make a play on those guys on the boat for sure. Well, I think the best thing for me to do would be to try and kill them while they're on the boat. 
Like when they're no driving in, yeah. But as they're getting close, they'll be going straight. Yeah, this is them here. Are they online or? Like, are they there? Yeah, they're in there. They are in there. Mm. Maybe they died. Do they have roof access? That would be ideal. We can kill them on the roof and ladder up. I think they're coming out. I think they're coming out. They're opening garage door. I think they might be coming out now. Yeah, they're on the ground. Where is he? That is front door. How do you reload? Right, uh, RB. It should be auto reload. He ran inside. He's gonna go to the roof. He's going to the roof. He's about to be up there. There's one bottom floor about to come out and loot me when he when I die, and the other one's um, going to the roof. All right, I'll try and snipe the roof, dude. Oh, he's got a rocket launcher. Got a rocket launcher. Yeah, yeah. He's dead? That's a proper rocket. Yeah, you rocket do the. Oh, he's an extra. He's dead. I heard a headshot. Was that you? Yeah, he's nice. Oh, rocket launcher fell. Get out of there. <laughs> I got it. I'm you running. <laughs> I'm running. <laughs> I didn't get to loot your body, but I got your tummy. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, get wrecked. <laughs> so you shot a proper rocket at you? Oh, wait. Oh, it's loaded. He reloaded it. I got a HP. <laughs> Man, we should have had ladders. He left the door open too that whole time. I know. That was, I mean, they would actually leave the base open. Mm. He wasn't shutting doors going up to the roof. Fuck. <laughs> uh, Your headshot me like what the hell? Hello, hey. why, why are you all camping with your boyfriend? What's up, boys? That was very nice, Solo. It's not very nice, fam. It was nice. Why are you all camping, G? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna leave you to it. Yeah. Thank, thanks for Wait. the rocket. I'm gonna leave you to it. All good, man. All good for the incense. It's an incense, actually, not a rocket. I appreciate it. Yeah. Not gonna get you very far. So it's not really that useful, man. You can go so, do some so raids. Yeah. Rage with incense. Oh, no, bro. What is this guy talking about? How many days? Wait, I'll try. To, I'll try to do it back for an AK. For an yeah, AK? Nah. Well, yeah, for the sure. for the incense. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll door camp here for the AK a bit later. Nah. <laughs> well, yeah, actually, now. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, you and your boyfriend camping for the eight, for the launcher. <laughs> the heist went as well as we could have imagined. And if you have a keen ear, you might have heard an M249 shooting off in the distance while I was having an interesting conversation with a group we'd just stolen from. After a short break, that M249 group is where we'd turn our attention to and where the story of this video would officially begin. When I jumped back on, Emilio would still be off for a while, so I took the time to do some farming and upgrade the base. This is when I stumbled across a compound in the general direction of the M249 shots we'd heard earlier. As soon as Emilio was back online, we went over to check it out.
Yo. What's this base oh name? shit! That's an L9. Is that, that your L9? No, 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 but he's shooting at me. Oh my god. I've only got a Revy. I got a. Yeah. Oh my god. No. I'm running. Yeah, okay. I'm running. I found a base that we should try and jump into though. Yeah, let's do it. I've got like 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, it's like 0, 09, like near that where that shop is, just next to it. I mean, we can just try and build in with wood. Let's just see that. All right, let's go. I got a thousand wood on me. Should be. Good. Also, this base here, I saw. I was like, could go up through that soft side. Don't know if it'll lead anywhere. But... You mean the, the in the floor there? Hmm. That's probably worth it. This looks pretty newbie. Yeah, but we check out this base first. See, so yeah, it's this base just up ahead. Might have to go back to low quality settings. My frames are shocking. Yeah. Might just be outposts. Yeah, I think it's like when the big bases render into. It's probably. Oh, yeah, good me. Shit. Same guy. Was that from that roof? I don't know. There was somewhere. I think it seemed like it came from the power plant. I think it was on the roof that I was going to try and jump into. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, he's on this roof. Good. I was moving as well, that was a pretty good shot. And it. <laughs> yeah, I suppressed M249. Well, can't do much about that. No, he, that base would be so loaded and his furnaces are running, so we should definitely check it out later though. Okay, look, I know what you're thinking. We were heading to that base for the sole purpose of being pests and trying to steal some loot from this group's large furnace. But the thing is, this guy, Covehead, <laughs> or Covid, didn't know our agenda. He was simply sitting on his roof, shooting naked with his L96 and suppressed M249. Instantly, this guy rubbed me up the wrong way, but like Emilio said, there wasn't much we could do about it. So we turned our attention to this interesting rock formation base with the plan to jackhammer up through the stone roof in hope of scoring some free loot. All the while though, something was pulling my mind back to COVID's base. I was just dying to investigate it further. How long will it take seven pickaxes? We can use jackhammers. Take longer. We got jackies. Yeah, we got two. We can reach it. Maybe if we can get a floor underneath that, we should be right. But oh, this guy hitting barrels in the um, electrical power relay station next to this base. I can kill him. I'm here pretty much. Another guy coming up from the loaded 3x3. Three three. He's got a rock. No, he's naked. No sash. Oh, shit. Yeah. He's gonna keep running. Never mind. I don't know if they saw you. He's low, he's low. My tummy broke. My oh. fucking tummy broke. Are you kidding me? I lost both the jackies. Pretty quick. 60 per jackie. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now this is content. <laughs> what me raging at the <laughs> FPS. Oh we got a jack we got a dude here. I'm gonna have to fight this guy. Oh yeah. Where? Q 
Can you push him? Yeah. Oh no. It's more. It's two. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I hit that. I hit that. Uh, I was getting shot by a scientist. Crazy loop. Crazy loop. There's, There's a box. Yeah. A little box. <laughs> It's empty. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Stupid base. <laughs> Do you want to quickly go see if that um that guy's got his? If he's not at his compound, we can jump in. I got a ladder on me. I drop the jack in the oven. You stash it. Yeah, I got a stash it if you want to stash it. Probably still sitting on his roof with his suppressed M2. I feel like it might be an easy build in, but I don't have any wood, do you? Sure. Oh, someone's already built. Yeah, yeah, at the front here. What is this thing? Did someone grieved you. Can you boost me up there? Is he on the roof or? Big with gate. My roof is not shooting, you're not looking at me. He's running around the side. Oh yeah, he's out, he's over here. And jump in. Dead. Chopping a guy, I'm chopping a head. <laughs> I'm in his compound. Oh, there you go. Ah, uh, someone just jumped in, that's why. Go.
<laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> no way. Ah, oh, he's gonna fire me, man, surely. Oh man, my heart is racing. I have to be patient here. Please don't see me. They're leaving again. No way, no way, no way. Oh, I need him back. I need Jacko back on. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. It's actually got... Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? Check this. Fuck. It's all open, man. Do you think I could shoot that with the grenade launch? Is that killing myself? Okay, so there's no way out. Do I try? I think it's the only way, man. It's world player shoddy traps. I'll shoot it? Where's TC? Okay, chop bags, chop bags. Dude, that's the only way in. Oh my god. No way. Tools, man. Stressing. Bag, bag, bag. Bag down. Need something to destroy bags. Yes. Oh my 
god. <laughs> Bro, what is happening? No fucking way. Okay, so I got a bag down there. I'll get another one down out here. That way I can seal the bunker. Dude, I can seal the bunker. <laughs> oh my god, man. Oh my god. I don't know what to do, man. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is seal up the... I think I'm going to seal the bunker, because I haven't sorted out this, like, top section. Oh, I can seal that. fucking base two weeks into monthly it was a, such a good idea to step into that airlock I was like ah oh, this isn't gonna lead anywhere man <laughs> oh my god when the real fun begins. I can just take off the door, <laughs> the window bars to get out. <laughs> ah, you got me. There's nothing they can do though, I've sealed myself in. I didn't see any scrap, that's the one thing that I'm seen yet because I should really just find that and uh, like learn as much as I can there's got to be some scrap in there somewhere surely I cannot believe this shit man like how sloppy are they dude just leaving every door open holy hey man man you guys are sloppy hey dude can you let me into my base Okay, so I want to spawn in inside. Yeah, I don't know where this. Where is this scrap box, man? Do they they don't even have enough scrap for me to make a fucking research table, dude. <laughs> I literally just need to sit in here because I can't do anything. I can't research anything. I can't research any like explosives or nothing. There's no door here. Like that. Anything, bro. Even puppy, 
you do it. This guy's just gonna let me walk out, he reckons. <laughs> Oh, well, we were in a bit of a stalemate, but really, all I had to do was wait it out until these guys gave up or logged off, and then I'd be able to safely transfer all the loot back to base. While messaging this guy though, I felt kind of bad for taking their entire base two weeks into the monthly wipe. So I decided it'd be fair if I tried to fight my way out, and if they killed me, at least the armored bunker would be open, so they'd have a chance of reclaiming their base. I think I'm gonna try and find my way out, to be honest. GG's, like if they if they beat me to it and they uh, <laughs> get the base back, whatever. It's just like unfortunate I don't have any meds. Like I can't craft meds. <laughs> Go with a heavy kit. Just like that, I was standing on this clan's roof, shooting at them with their own suppressed M249. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. I can't believe I'm getting away with this. Ah, uh, how the tables have turned. A roof camper becomes the roof campy. Wasn't too long ago, me and Emilio running around with rocks. After that, I logged off for a while to let things settle down at the base. And then, when Emilio was back online, we jackhammered our way out and transferred all the best loot back to our base by water treatment. Mm, oh, nice base, bro. <laughs> oh, that's so much. Actually. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, this is a stone wall. That leads to out, outside, I think. I think we should probably go for that. I need to go outside and seal the front door though. Alright, barricades come on. I was very fortunate that he opened those two doors for us. Yeah, fuck it. We're running guns, like, and good shit. Sulfur and there's a whole box of, like, sulfur under me here. I've got predominantly guns on me. Yep. This was an absolutely crazy run. The story of this white played out so fast on this clan that their heads were surely spinning. From roof camping us while we were naked, to being roof camped by their own M249 from the roof of their own base, it was just the sweetest feeling. Thanks so much for watching everyone, I hope you really enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys real soon for another Rust console adventure.